Hey guys, it's Dave here from Creative Path Films and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you about hatchet or split lighting. Hatchet lighting is a lighting technique where one entire side of your subject's face is completely plunged into shadow. This results in a very distinct shadow that runs down the center of the face, splitting the face in two. Hence the name hatchet or split lighting. This is a fantastic technique that you can employ when lighting a character that's morally ambiguous, a bit shady or two-faced. By plunging an entire side of the face into shadow, in particular one of the eyes, it makes us feel as an audience that the character has something to hide and isn't entirely trustworthy. This is because psychologically, the eyes are critical to nonverbal communication. And by obscuring them, even partially, it makes the character so much more difficult to read, and therefore we have trouble trusting them. This is why we have tropes such as eye patches or sunglasses for characters that we want to appear shady. Today, I'm going to show you how to recreate this technique, as well as a few variations that you can use to spice things up a bit. So make sure you stick around all the way to the end. I've also created a PDF breakdown of this technique, so check that out down in the description. All right, let's get into the setup. In today's setup, I'm using an Aperture Amran 100D with a reflector dish for my hard light source. And I've swapped out the included hyper reflector for a standard reflector by Godox. And this is because the hyper reflector creates a rather nasty hotspot that I'm not a big fan of. For my soft light examples, I'm using the same light source, but I've attached a Light Dome Mini 2 softbox. This technique can be achieved by positioning your key light almost directly off to the side of your character at either 80 or 90 degrees to the nose. And both of those positions will give slightly different looks. So here's an example of what that looks like when you position your light at 90 degrees. Here we have a hard light source, and here's another version using a soft light source. But what happens when you do this is you'll start to notice a few unusual shadows, particularly around the eye sockets. To remedy this, I prefer to bring the light ever so slightly forward to about the 80 degree mark. This will give you that nice even split directly down the middle of the face. Here's that example at 80 degrees with a hard light source. But here it is again, this time with a soft light source. Now let's have a look at a few variations. And this time I've adjusted the height of the light so you can see what impact that has over your image. Instead of having our light source at eye height, this is what it looks like when we raise the light up and angle it downwards. Here's the hard light version, and here's the diffused version. Here's another variation so you can see what it looks like when we position that light down below eye height, aiming upwards. Here's the hard light version, and here is the diffused version. What if you like the drama of this technique, but you don't want to have one side of the face completely plunged in a shadow? What if you still want to see a little bit of detail? Well, that's where a fill light comes into play. You can add a little bit of fill to this technique by either bouncing some light back using something like a polyboard or a piece of white core flute, or you can add in a small fill light, such as an Aperture F7, which is what we're using today. Another variation I'd like to show you is what I've come to call the double hatchet setup. Sometimes this two light setup is also called hatchet lighting, so it can be a little bit confusing. This is a really cool look, and it can be achieved by positioning two matching hatchet lights on either side of the subject's face. The result is a narrow shadow that runs down the very center line of the face. You can make this shadow area wider and even more prominent if you pull your lights further around behind your subject past 90 degrees. This produces a very cool and very dramatic look, and you see it used a lot in things such as thrillers, sci-fi, and horror films. One final note on our specific setup is in these examples, I have got a backlight in play, which is just there to provide some separation between my subject and the background. And this goes a long way in completing the look. Well guys, that's it for hatchet lighting. If you learned something today and enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know by leaving it a thumbs up. And don't forget that breakdown down in the description. Thanks for watching guys, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.